Hey guys, welcome back. This is Out of the Park Baseball 22 with the Detroit Tigers. We are in year number five. It is May 1st. We are 14 and 11, two games behind the White Sox. Uh, if you're just finishing up the last episode, I'm not going to do all the same stuff here, so I'm not going to go through all the stats. But um, we've been, um, our offense has struggled a bit this year. Our pitching has been fine. Uh, the White Sox are doing it with smoke and mirrors, so I have to think that we are going to catch them. We get our closer back in a week. Junior Fernandez comes back, and he'll slide in somewhere. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my bullpen, but he'll go in there someplace. Maybe Angel de Jesus or, yeah, probably Angel de Jesus. But uh, at any rate, we're going to play some baseball. And my goal is to get up to, um, I guess, July, maybe July 1st. Sim up Sim May and June here while we're on uh, while we're on here. So let's let's uh, Sim had a couple of weeks. Actually, where are we? We're on Thursday, May first. It's I mean it's gonna stop me before I do this. I don't even know why I'm bothering. But let's let's Sim up to the eleventh and see where we stand. So <coughs> fourteen and eleven. Oh, 14 and twelve. We lose again. Okay. So it hasn't been obviously quite as good a start as whoa hell. Okay. Um. That sucks. Ugh. Crap. Okay. Um, hill or crow? I guess we'll go with crow. Well, crow's hurt, so we'll go with hill. Well, that's just terrible. So Will Sanders is going to get his shot in the starting rotation. I'll make Adam Hill a long reliever. So we lose Jack Flaherty for the next 11 months. Uh, so let's keep going. I guess we'll just sim a week at a time here. Can we do it without Flaherty again? So that uh, that um, signing is is going to be a bust. So we lose him. Oops, sorry. So we lost. So we, we didn't have him for most of last year, and we're going to not have him again until next season. So hopefully his ratings don't drop too, too much, and we can at least get a couple years out of uh, out of that contract, um, but with the amount of money that we have, uh, we can't afford things like that to happen. So we'll just, you know, we'll deal with it. All right, we're a game out of first now. Junior Fernandez eligible to come off the deal. Thirteen to five win. Offense got started there. Five RBIs for both Torkelson and Arroyo. Lee still without a home run. Still without a home run. Okay, so that is good that we get Junior Fernandez back. We will send DeJesus down, who hasn't been very good. He has to clear waivers. Uh, all right, so we will just designate. Actually, let's see if we can trade him for somebody who has options. That would be ideal. Let's see if we can trade him for a reliever who's got options. Yeah, I mean, he's in AAA, so in theory, he's got options. That looks good. Hunter Shriver. Let's just make sure there's nobody else here. Jimmy Lambert, our former pitcher. Hatch and Cody. Yeah. So we're going to go with Hunter Shriver. We'll make that deal. And then we can call up Fernandez. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we'll put Shriver in. He's got to be on the 40, man. That's fine, but we can put him in AAA. All right, so Junior Fernandez is our closer. Ken Giles is... We're going to make Ken Giles a stopper. We're going to go with the stopper role with this team. Uh, I think he's good enough to uh, to handle that role. Will Sanders is hurt now. Damn it. Okay. So I had a day or two until we get... Okay, so he's day-to-day -day with a strained tricep. Moderate, we got to put him on the DL. We can't. I can't run the risk of injuring my young starting pitcher long term. So Shriver's going to get that call up. And who moves in to the rotation? Is it Rollison? No. I think it's got to be Little. Man, this is. No, we're going to go Adam Hill. We're going to go Adam Hill. We're going to leave Little in his role. 
This is really testing our depth here for sure. Keep going. We are in first place now. Half game up on Chicago. 22 and 12. So a good stretch here for us. 23 and 12. So we have won 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 out of 10 here in May. So good start. Jesus Lazardo uh, went 5 and a third, striking out 10. Four hits for Arroyo, three RBIs for Lou. Lee still with no home runs. Michael Ciani up to 308 out of the leadoff spot. Good start for us. Uh, even losing Flaherty and Sanders here for a time. All right, so guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sim ahead now to the end of May. When we come back, we will go over the stats, and then we will run through June. So I'll be back momentarily. All right, it is June 1st. And the Detroit Tigers are 36 and 16. It was quite the month of May. We were 22 and 5 in the month of May to go from 14 and 11 to 36 and 16. Now we got Parker Meadows back from injury. We get Will Sanders back in a couple of days. Adam Hill has been really good as a starter. Um, we'll go through the stats here in a second, but I uh, want to call out a couple of people. Adam Hill. <clears throat> three and O with a three five four ERA in five games, four starts. He's been really good. We got him last year. Was it last year or the year before? Twenty twenty four. We got him last year. Uh, so yeah, uh, Jung Hoo Lee hit his first three home runs of the year. He's up to three forty two on the year. Uh, our offense is rolling. Uh, even Marcelo Meyer. Look at that. Two seventy one, nine home runs, nineteen RBIs. For the second year shortstop. Things clicked for him in May. 326, 407, 589. Uh, the only batter who really is not hitting in our lineup is Bryce Ball, um, which is something we may have to address as we uh, move forward here. Let's look at pitching first. Pitching sets. So Matt Manning, 6-0 and oh this year with a 3.42 ERA, 2.31 FIP, 1.14 uh, whip, 10 Ks per nine, giving up. He's given up two home runs in 52 innings. If he can stay healthy, that's going to be a huge, huge boon for us. Jesus Cesardo, um, probably just a rental. Um, my guess is he's, yeah, I mean, he wants a lot of money. And we don't have that kind of money to spend right now, so probably just a rental, but we're going for it. It's four and four, three nine five ERA had a he also had a really nice May. Um you can see two and two with a two four zero ERA, thirty-nine strikeouts in thirty innings. Really cut back on the home runs, which is what was hurting him. He gave up six and twenty four innings in April, only one home run in thirty innings in May. So he's been great. Casey Mize has been very good, ERA under three. 2.88, 63 strikeouts in 59 innings. Ken Giles has been masterful in that stopper role. 29 innings, only 22 hits, 38 strikeouts to three walks. Uh, good for one and a half war already through only two months. Tariq Skubal has been, been good. 3.56 ERA, 74 strikeouts in 65 innings. Given up a few too many home runs. Um, but hopefully, I mean, that's, you're going to get that with these ratings, right? That movement is, is fairly low. So he's going to give up a lot of home runs. Uh, Hernandez has settled down after a difficult, uh, first month, I guess, uh, April. Yeah. His ER, you, he had an ERA of 12 in six innings in April. He had an ERA of zero in six innings in May. So, uh, couldn't have been much better. Um, Perez continues to pitch well for us. Brendan Little's pitch. I mean, really, everyone's pitching well. Only Rollison is he? Rollison's are only Rollison and Hernandez are only two pitchers with ERAs over four, and Hernandez has only pitched twelve innings. Um, Fernandez has come back and he's three and zero with three saves in eight games. So um, yeah, that two headed monster of Giles and Fernandez are handling their business for us. And then Hunter Shriver who we called up or uh, we picked up in a trade and then called up has been pretty good in eight innings. Uh, offensively, uh, Lou and Lee are two top war uh, providers. Lou, uh, 12 home runs, 34 knocked in, 308, 410, 610, OPS of 1012, OPS plus of 163, two and a half war 
for the 26-year-old third baseman, who is an MVP candidate. Jung Hoo Lee, the power, came around a little bit. He's hit three hit three home runs this month, but, um, you know, I mean, he, the he's not hitting for as much power this year, but the average is up, so his OPS is exactly the same as last season. Uh, and he's actually been better defensively this year than he was last year. <coughs> Parker Meadows' average is a little light, uh, but a lot of his war is derived from his defense, where he is one of the best defensive center fielders in baseball. Um, that's definitely mitigating the loss of Byron Buxton. Christian Arroyo just continues to hit, just continues to hit. This is probably the best deal we made uh, so far as a member of the Detroit Tigers. We're only paying half his contract, and he put up almost four war two years ago. He put up four war last year, and he's on pace for 4.2 this year. Uh, plays good defense, can hit the ball. He's captain. Fantastic. Ali Sanchez is up to 313. Um, yeah, I mean, he's hitting the ball tremendously, uh, playing great defense. 16 doubles. A lot, of, a lot of extra base hits out of Ali, which wasn't expected. He's on pace for three and a half war. Marcelo Meyer, I mentioned, is starting to come around. 271, 374, 488, and 862 OPS out of our 22-year-old shortstop who's still below average defensively, but the ratings suggest that he's going to be a very good defensive shortstop, so we'll just let him work through it. Torkelson on pace for 44 and 140 this year. Only on pace for uh, about the same war as last year. Um, still striking out a ton, but if he ends up with 44 home runs, 140 knocked in and walks 75 times, I won't complain a bit. Michael Ciani did a nice job filling in for Meadows when he was hurt. Uh, he's going to go back to that backup outfielder role. Colton Welker's not playing quite as much this season, but still hitting. Uh, no home runs, but 308, 378, 385. Um, he may be somebody we look to move um, in the offseason just to free up some some money. Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily want to pay my backup first baseman or my backup DH, uh, really, as it were. Um, three to five million dollars a year but we'll see Cartai is struggling in his first year but I, I mean I just I need him to play solid defense and I think so far he's done that yeah uh Fletcher and Fletcher Brigman and Ball are only three hitters um that are below zero war uh so as I mentioned before left field and and really just in another batter is somebody that we're really gonna have to pay attention to um as we move forward let's get the trade block so there are some hitters here there's some good hitters here. Matt Chapman. Um, I'd love to bring in Matt Chapman. I don't know that... I mean, number one, he's making like $25 million, so they would have to retain like 80% of his contract or something. Yeah, so they want Lou or Zarate for Chapman if they're going to eat that much, and I don't want to give up... They don't want to give that up, but let's... Let's just see what happens if we just start throwing names at the list here. Uh, no Patterson was drafted last year, right? These are the three I can't trade. Zarate, Green, Collier. Those are the three players I can't and won't trade. So... Especially since this deal would be for a, um, uh, it would be for a rental, because Chapman's contract is up at the end of this year and he's making twenty five million, so uh, it would absolutely be a rental. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, okay. So Chapman's not happening. That's fine. Uh, a trade block. Keston Hura, and he can mash against lefties. He's making $7 million this year. But, I mean, I, I guess... If we put Keston Hura out there... Because he's... I mean, ratings-wise, he's not a better hitter than... Well, I guess he's better than Fletcher against lefties. But he's not... From a ratings perspective, he's not better than Ball against righties. So... I, I mean, I think for now, I mean, we're going to hold off for now. We have best record in baseball. We're in first place. I mean, there's no reason to make a move just to make a move. Um, so we'll, I think, just hold off for now and try to let ball work through it. But 
Um, it's something we need to consider. Standings wise, 36 and 16, we are seven games up on the Indians. As I mentioned, the White Sox were smoke and mirrors. They've dropped back to 500, so we're seven games up. Uh, the Red Sox are down to 34 and 18, but they still have a two and a half game lead in the East. Mariners are up in the West. Uh, in the National League, uh, Nationals 30 and 23 lead the East. Cubs and Cardinals are tied for first in the Central. The Dodgers have a six and a half game lead on the Rockies in the West. Jung Hoo Lee third in the American League in hitting behind Daniel Johnson and Eddie De Los Santos. Uh, Julio Rodriguez, De Los Santos, and Naylor home runs. Naylor leads the American League in RBIs. Storkelson is second. Lou is third in OPS. Uh, from a pitching perspective, Matt Manning second in war, while Ken Giles is third in saves. Barrios, Hancock, and McCullers Jr. lead in wins. Josiah Gray with a 1.55 ERA for the Dodgers. The Dodgers have the top three uh, ERAs in the National League. That's why they have the best record in the National League. All right, so let's get up to the draft pool announcement. And it's going to be, I mean, we're picking, we're going to be picking probably right at the bottom, if not the bottom. <clears throat> um, so that's something to consider. But, all right, so we got to send somebody down. Um, okay, so we can send Shriver down, which is what I was hoping. Uh, injured list, we'll get Sanders back out there. And we're going to pitch him out of the bullpen. We're going to pitch him out of the bullpen. Because Adam Hill's pitched really well, so there's no reason to mess with that. So let's get up to the draft pool announcement. We're 37 and 17, 38 and 17 as we beat the Sox 10 to 4. 39 and 17 as we beat the Sox again, 2 to 1. All right, personal message. Oh, that's a tough one. Lou is out for five to six weeks. All right, so we'll call up Nick Quintana. And that means Colton Welker is going to get some run at third base here for the next few weeks. Uh, Got to make him the third baseman. And... stick Nick Quintana in as a designated hitter, but he's not going to bat third. Uh, we'll switch him and him there. All right, well, that's a bummer. So we lose Lou for a few weeks, but thankfully things are going pretty well for us, so we'll, we'll be okay. Uh, let's get up to the 11th. All right, so we are 42 and 19 on June 11th. Uh, any notes here for us? Nope. All right, so where do we stand? <clears throat> Nine games clear of the White Sox, who are on a bit of a sh uh, hot streak, but we now have the top offense in baseball. I knew it just was a matter of time before our offense picked it up. Top offense in baseball. Um, we're first in runs against. Second best ERA, second best bullpen ERA. Uh, defensively, we're average, but everything else is fine. Um, Adam Hill continues to impress. So we're just going to continue to throw him out there. 4-0 uh, in six starts. Um, Tariq Skubal, his ERA has ballooned here a little bit, but look at some of these other numbers. Uh, again, Ken Giles has just been a monster. 45 strikeouts, three walks, and 32 innings. Fernandez has been good. So things are looking okay. Things are looking okay. Toledo's struggling. Let's look at our prospect hall here. So Elijah Green, 269, 346, 429 through 31 games in AA. Um, I'm good there. Um, Zarate. Uh, through a complete game shutout in his first game in rookie ball. So I don't know how long he's going to be there, but that's fantastic. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, let's see. Castro is still in the international complex. Cam Collier, only a buck 82 so far in uh, in AAA or in AA. Or high A, actually. Wow. 
Um, he may have to take a step back, but we'll let him continue to try to plug away here a little bit until probably the end of June, see how things go. Uh, Sanders is up. Foster in high A ball. Um, I think it may be time to call him up to double A. See if you can get those walks under control in double A. Uh, Braylon Bishop is... How's Bishop doing? He's hitting really well. And, uh, and you can see he's already up to a 51 right field rating. So now let's uh, stick him in left field and get him time there. And that's what I want. I want somebody who can play all three positions. So Bishop will be that replacement for Siani when it's time to move on from him. Uh, Chance Mako is in A ball. So far, so good. Three starts, three, four, six ERA. Walks are a bit high, but uh, that's to be expected with that control. Uh, cool. So our prospects are coming along. Let's look at the rookie draft, mock draft. We are picking 29th. They have us taking Josh McBay. He's a good defensive outfielder, decent speed. Let's look at the draft pool. I have a feeling it's not going to be a very good draft. <coughs> we need to do some scouting here. Sorry, I had to work a sneeze in there. Uh, John Todd, I want to request Scott. Not that any of these guys are going to be available, but the ones who are listed as low, I would like to get scouting reports on. All right, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is it is June 11th. I'm going to sim ahead to the end of June. I still don't think we're going to make any moves. Um, if we suffer an injury or something, I'll come back and, and we'll talk about it. Or if I do end up having to make a move, I'll come back and we'll, we'll go over that deal. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to come back on July 1st. We'll recap and we'll call it an episode. I'll be back in just a moment. All right. It is July 1st and we've got some good. We've got some bad. Uh, the good is we are still nine games up uh, in the Central at 51 and 28. Uh, our offense is still performing. Our pitching staff is still performing. The bad, uh, as you can see there, we have also lost Casey Mize for the rest of the season um, to a torn back muscle. So we've now lost 40% of our starting pitching rotation this season. Um, what was Jack Flaherty, Tariq Skubal, Casey Mize, Jesus Lizardo, Matt Manning has turned into Jesus Lizardo, Matt Manning, Tariq Skubal, Will Sanders, and Adam Hill. Uh, and Hill has struggled in his last two starts, uh, but we'll continue to let him plug away because now we have no other choice. <coughs> um, yeah, Parker Meadows, we're, we're letting him play through. Uh, his mild ab strain because it's minimal on his uh, on his um, ability on his abilities and he's hitting really well so we're just gonna let him keep playing. But uh, Flaherty gone for the year, Mize gone for the year. We get Lou back in two weeks, which is nice, and then Mize is done for the season as well. So I never thought that starting pitching is something that we may have to address uh, as we get uh, closer to the uh, trade deadline, but. Uh, it may be the case. It may be the case. Um, in fact, let's take a look at the trade block right now. So, uh, Carlos Carrasco, Colton Mahoney, who is a former Detroit Tiger, Lance McCullers. Not a whole lot there. We'll keep an eye on that uh, through. <coughs> excuse me, through July. Maybe we can pick somebody up uh, to improve that pitching staff. Offensively, uh, nothing has really changed. Gio Urshel is on here. Uh, he can hit both lefties and righties. He may not be a bad get. Um, yeah, I mean, we're still... <coughs> excuse me. We're still hanging in there. Our offense has actually been fine, so I don't know that we need to stress that much about picking up another bat, especially since we get Lou back in two weeks. Ball is, I mean, the power is there. The average isn't, same with Fletcher. But, you know, July is going to be an active month for us, I think. You know, we don't have a ton of money, so it's going to be active for us in terms of can we figure something out with the money that we have is really what it boils down to. 
So let's take a look at the stats. So Giles, Manning, and Lazardo all at 2.2 war uh, through three months. Giles has just been phenomenal. 1.85 ERA, 216 batting average, 0.94 whip, 10 Ks per nine, a 261 ERA plus. Um, that stopper roll suits him well. Uh, Manning has been really good. I'm praying he stays healthy uh, because we are basically out of starting pitching depth at this point. I mean, we can move... Perez, Little, or Rollison. So I guess we do have a couple players who can slide in there, but they're all pitching pretty well in their respective roles, so I don't want to jack with that. Uh, Adam Hill's been good. He put up uh, one war through his first uh, 10 starts, so, I mean, no real complaints there. Cleonel Perez, Brendan Little are pitching well. ERA is right around three. Scubal, uh, we need him to step it up, especially with our injuries. We need him to be better than that. Uh, Lizardo, uh, we talked about him. Uh, he's been good, 98 strikeouts and in 85 innings. Um, not walking anybody. He's been he's been real good. Uh, the rest of our bullpen's been okay. Hess, Hernandez, uh, Schreier, Shriver, Rollison, and Fernandez. Fernandez still has a negative WAR, which is kind of strange. Um, he's three and zero with 11 saves and a 2.40 year. I mean, I guess look at that fit, 5.73. Um, sorry, hang on just a second. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so our pitching staff has been okay. Uh, it's getting tested with the injuries, but it's been okay. Um, war. Uh, so Parker Meadows has been our best bat from a war perspective. Uh, almost three war. He's hitting his averages. has really sp uh, sprung to life here in June, uh, batting out of the leadoff spot. Jung Hoo Lee continues to hit really well for us, putting up an 845 OPS. Arroyo continues to hit. Torkelson's up to an 873 OPS, 20 home runs, 67 knocked in. Still on pace for that 41 40 mark. Ali Sanchez still hitting over 300. Marcelo Meyer didn't hit for, didn't hit any home runs, but still has a an 800 OPS out of the shortstop position, which you'll never complain about. Colton Welker stepping in for Lewis hit the ball well. Uh, really, it's Ball and Fletcher. Specifically, Fletcher. I mean, Ball is up to uh, a zero war, whereas Fletcher is negative. So we may have to, in fact, do we... Do we do this? Let's try this for a little while. Let's get Siani in the lineup um, against right-handers and get him some playing time. And we'll run with Meadows, Siani, and Lee in the outfield. And that's a really good defensive outfield. Um, yeah, so that's our batting and that's our pitching. Uh, front office-wise, we still have about $8 million. Uh, I dropped ticket prices 50 cents to try to get some more people in the seats. Um, revenue's still down. So hopefully that'll change as the season progresses. Um Prospects, prospect pipeline, teams, Detroit. Elijah Green, 305, 366, 465 in AA's, up to 2.7 war in Erie. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more power before we move him up to AAA, but uh, so far so good. Zarate is dominating rookie ball, five starts, uh, 23 strikeouts, um, 2 0 with a 2 5 1. We'll let him continue to pitch there. For now, he's only 19. No reason to rush him. Castro still in the international complex. Cam Collier, <coughs> excuse me, still not hitting. So I think it is time to send him back down to um, A ball. Oh, he's on the DL. He's out for four days. Okay, we'll have to move him down at some point. Moreno, international complex, or rookie ball. Um, hitting okay, leave him there. Armelini in International Complex. Sanders already up. Foster's got a 5.25 ERA in Double A, but he's out for the rest of the season. Bishop is continuing to hit pretty well in Double A. Chance Mako pitching well in A ball. Cartaya up with the big club. Dutton, uh, 4.95 ERA, 34 strikeouts though in 36 innings in High A ball. Caranto in A ball. Um. Hitting about as well as can be expected. Uh, Jamie Patterson hasn't got; he's only played one game so far. So, um, yeah. So that's uh, that's a prospect review, I guess. Uh, let's look at the standings really quickly. Red Sox fifty-two and twenty-seven. Another ten-game winning streak. It's their second ten-game winning streak of the season. Eight-game lead over the Rays. 
We have a nine game lead over the White Sox, even though we're only four and six in our last 10. And the Mariners lead the West at 45 and 35 in the National League. Mets 41 and 36. <coughs> Cardinals with a four game lead over the Cubs. And the Dodgers, five and a half game lead over the Rockies. Spencer Torkelson leads the American League in RBIs. Um, nothing else from a leader perspective. Anything interesting? Bellinger, 31 home runs, 79 RBIs in 78 games. Um, Dodgers pitching staff still looks good. Yeah. Um, so that's where we stand. We are uh, 51 and 28, nine games clear of the Chicago White Sox. Uh, so next episode will be that July episode where we do the international signing, the first-year player draft, and go up to the trade deadline. So, guys, I want to know your thoughts. Do we hold tight with our with our offense, or do we um, uh, or do we uh, we try to make a move to improve the the our, our left field position? And what do we do about our pitching staff? Do we we try to make a move for another uh, another starter, or do we just s- sort of solidify that bullpen? Uh, let me know what you think I should do. Uh, and uh, we will talk again soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.